Welcome back, Rave. Let's wrap, okay, let's wrap this up. Now let's finally rescue Gorky Bar. Let me think. I've got one more guest to save. Gavel, here I come! Remember, Lydia, don't wake don't Dr. Dabble. You reminding me that I have to, not to wake Dr. Dabble. I know, I'm going to be quiet. That's just the word I needed, Lydia! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that! Go ahead. Wait. You can't stop a genius, Lydia! Yes! Well, this evidence Dr. Dabble will go down in history. I'll take it with me. In what order did the Bio Novella find the hang dropped hanky? Lydia found loose fried handkerchief in the dining room at 9 p.m. An hour before that, she found Mayor Jackie O'Cassie. Earlier at 7.30 p.m., Lydia spotted Bobby's right handkerchief hanging in the foyer by the stairs. By 10 p.m., she had found both Gorky Box and Gloria Gas. So she spied Gloria first. At precisely 10.35 p.m., Lydia saw Gulliver's Lily Twist Hanky resting on the van.
go. You've got to get me out of here. Dr. Dabble is asleep, so I will write quickly. The night of the party, one by one, the guests followed Dr. Dabble into his lab when it was my turn. I took my squinting fl water flower with me, but I tried to give it to him as a gift, but Dabble insisted that I keep it with me as he put me inside of what he called his dehumanizing machine. My fa flower and all my of my joke toys came with me. Now I'm trapped somewhere, and I can't stop playing practical jokes. It's driving me crazy. Please get me out uh, out of here. I'll tell you a secret that I heard. One of the letters in Lydia's email diary password is F. Your devoted servant, Gorky Barf. Take that close one. Oof! We need to go to the bedroom. World renowned scientist, Dr. Dabble, purchased Lee in Novella's mansion for an undisclosed sum. A spokesman for the scientist said that he plans to move into the historic mansion next year. Phase 5, the great reward. Revenge is mine. As soon as my plan is complete, everyone in the world will hear of my great invention and thank me for changing the useless into the useful. Everyone will want to express their gratitude to me, Dr. Dudley Dabo. My doorstep will become crowded with numerous reporters and other scientists anxious to hear my story. I'll be on the cover of every newspaper and magazine in the world. I'll be famous. I'll have my own hour-long informer show on cable television. Washed up television stars will sell my creations to Mr. and Mrs. America. Of course, the best part is that I will no longer have to put up with those six annoying people who plagued my life since I was a child. Ah, revenge is sweet. I'm ready to begin. Let the guests arrive! Wow, that's what Dr. Dab was up to. Trying to get revenge on them, but... Read the headstones by the light of the pale moon. Ooh, I love this game. I'm out of here. Yeah, I earned more evidence to take with me. Now let's finish this up. Oh, Now this time, be quiet. Hmm. Rave, you have... I don't know. 
I'm stuck. I won more evidence! I'll just tiptoe right past old sleepyhead and get to that machine! Now let's finish the song. <laughs> that Gorky Barth is one funny librarian. I've been reading his book. Excuse me. For this? And he's got some great knock knock shit in the work. Please let him know that I did not appreciate the fake flower thing. Oh, and I found the key to the library that he's in. This. 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 That's it. I knew I could count on you. Rave, I can't thank you enough for saving my life. Now about those overdue library books. Keep them as long as you want. Any library would be honored to have you as a patron. The joke was on me by Gorky Barf. Barf. I can't believe that Dogly Devil has uh, held a grudge against me for 20 years. I mean, I'm just a bizarre village town librarian. I never really wanted to be a librarian. I always wanted to be a stand-up com comic. And as a young man, I was a comic for a short while. I performed everywhere. Vegas, Atlantic City, yep. Landy. I mean, who knew the knock-knock jokes wouldn't go over in Vegas? One night, I almost died from a rotten tomato overdose. It was a very hostile audience. I went back to Brazzaroville with my tail between my legs, a failure. But my father welcomed me back and gave me a job in the town library. Not only was my father Brazzaroville's head librarian, so was his father and his father's father and his father's father's father, etc. The library was even named after my great, 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 great grandfather. It was the Ulysses... S. Barth Memorial Library, but in my heart, I was still a, I still was a stand-up comic. So every night after the library would close, I reopened it as an after-hours comedy club called the After Hours Comedy Club, since there was never much so much was much to do in the Bizarroville metropolitan area. People came from far and wide just to hear my knock-knock jokes. I made kids with. Overdue library books spent hours in a book storage room, listening as I tried out material for my comedy stand-up routine. Being an absent-minded genius type, Dotley Dabble was always late returning books, so he was main com my main comedy guinea pig. I tried out all my zingers and knee snappers on Young Dabble. Seltzer boots, kazoos, springy snakes, whoopee cushions, you name it. He absolutely hated my knock-knock jokes. In fact, I judged judged how funny my jokes were by the sour reaction on his face. Who knew that? After all these years, young Dabble would take out his revenge by trapping me in his lab. Who knew that I'd wind up being his captive audience? He said he was turning me into a human joke machine. I mean, I had a rubber chicken head in for a face, and my body was one giant inflated whoopee cushion with joy brothers all over it. If Rave hadn't come to my rescue, my life wouldn't have been a laughing matter. The funny thing about my experience, though, was seeing that mysterious old-fashioned writing quote showed up every once in a while in Doc Bull's house. Is he taking up a new career as a writer? If not, then whose quill is that? Well, all six guests are saved. We're gonna stop this video for now, and then in the next video... And... And in the next video, we're going to show you Lydia's Diary.